So when I started my PI731 test installation, I had a problem that it didn't really work. I could do a lot of things in the Enterprise Switch Builder, but in the integration directory, I got a lot of errors uh, when I tried to commit anything. So what I've done is I have in the SLD technical systems and then process integration. Here I did delete the integration engine just by clicking then then remove. And we can see that there's someone here called domain null. And after I deleted these uh, I restarted the server and then everything worked out. One other thing that I've done is because maybe some of these names is still there. I, I well, the challenge is I don't know which one of these things really did it. So I went to Windows System Drivers etc and then Host and added this host uh, that is being used uh, uh, here also uh, which is the one that's been used for installation and just added that to the default host and that way those things seem to be working rebooted and then I was able to get access uh, to here if I wanted to, to get access remote uh, using my own browser I went down to here network and sharing and firewall and here just turned off the firewall because uh, Amazon still have a firewall that blocks a lot of these uh, different requests um, to be able to have created a store here on the the C drive uh, if I want to play around with, with files is to do that I just uh, clicked here added properties and then edit properties and then I added a property called SAP service C which is the default one it's using and it's here and then just say full permissions and then it will get full permissions all the way down into the the file system so I think those were the, the steps I made to to avoid the registration error and stuff like that i wanted to to create this because i'm creating a product around how you be how you start using pi as a developer uh, for picourse.com um, you check out more on that and see if that's something for you but uh, until we meet again goodbye